Yeah, so, so in my research, especially with um, a, a writer and someone who I like to refer to as, as the mother of Ikigai psych psychology, um, Kami Amiko, she has, um, she describes that there are two ways to use the word Ikigai. And she offers an example that when, when someone says, this child is my Ikigai, it refer, refers to the source or target of Ikigai. And she's, she's a psychiatrist, so she's framing it like that. And then when one feels Ikigai, it's a state of mind or this awareness or this feeling, Ikigai Khan. And you talk about feeling your Ikigai in your art, in your blog post. So would you like to also touch on that? Yeah, I think um, this is, this, it's, you know, feeling Ikigai, as I, as I mentioned, is that, is that sense of, of life that you, you know, you're, you're, the moment kind of makes you appreciate life. And it's, it's something that I think we all, we all strive for. Um, and again, this can be in, in a moment, this can be doing something that you love repeating, or as I mentioned, it could be something that you, you've done for the first time. And I think actually sometimes um, you get the most sense of fulfillment in life when you do something for the first time which is counterintuitive to purpose because you assume that purpose is something that, that you do over and over. But I, but, but I think to live a full life is not just to do the same thing over and over again, but to experience different parts of life. Then I caveat that with, again, it, it does depend on the person. I think anybody can feel ikigai from anything. There's no set rules on if it's something that has to be done often, if it's something that you do once. Um, but it is, it is something that gives you an appreciation for, for being on this world. And that, that feeling, wherever it comes from, I think is, is what we strive for and what I think of when I think of feeling Ikigai. Yeah, I agree. And I also like how you wrote that people who are around other people who have Ikigai can almost feel it, sort of hinting that it's contagious. Yeah, I, 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 I guess I kind of touched on that a moment ago, but I do think it is, it is contagious. I think when we're surrounded by people who are, you know, I think full of life, right? It's probably the most direct translation, right? Is it makes you excited and, and happy to appreciate life when you see someone appreciating life so much. And I think on the flip side, I think when, when you are around people who seem to not find joy in life, that can unfortunately be contagious as well, but it goes both ways. 